Hi, when I'm Rob Schmidt, and I would like to explain to you why I think that most of the people who oppose DOMA are the ones who are guilty of ignorance, because I listened to a lady called on my Gallagher show today, and she said, well, the people who believe in the Bible, they're just being ignorant because the book was written so long ago. She's the one guilty of ignorance, but, you know, to be fair, I would like to share with you some of the criteria I use to determine whether or not I would believe in the Bible. One of the tools I use is a book written by Josh McDowell. It's titled, The Evidence That Demands a Verdict. And in that book, he lists some of the criteria that's used to determine whether or not a book is reliable, historically accurate, and that type of thing. Because you can't simply dismiss a book because it was written roughly 2,000 years ago. So, now that you know what kind of research I've done, what kind of research have you done? I get so fed up with having people say, well, you guys are just operating out of ignorance, when in reality, I'm an educated, intelligent guy, as are a lot of my evangelical friends. So, you tell me how you're not guilty of the ignorance. I would also like to point out that you seem to be the ones, the opponents of DOMA seem to be the ones interjecting the Bible into the argument because I do not recall a single time when any of the attorneys who are arguing for DOMA before the United States Supreme Court used any part of the Bible in any way, shape, or form to argue the case. It's not a legal argument. You never bring that up in a court of law. Why are you? And again, I think the people who keep saying, well, you guys are ignorant, the people who oppose DOMA are the ones who are guilty of ignorance, but I'm going to give you an opportunity to prove me wrong by sharing your thoughts with me in the YouTube message center, assuming, of course, that you can put a complete sentence together, and yes, I'm mocking you. And on that note, may God be with you all.